Hi everyone, I'm Nathan Yong of Furniture Design Singapore. Now we had this conversation. Yeah, I'm optimistic because I think humankind will always uh, um, uh, 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 survive at the end of the day. And it might not be the current situation, it might be the environment, environment might, might be worse or it might be better, but I always think we will prevail. And, and then because we can adapt, so you'll be fine. Yeah, I, I think it depends on the, the objects that we are tackling. I think we can talk about maybe like a, a computer, laptop or camera or things that's digital will get slimmer, smaller or whatever, you know. But this is very dry. Like a washing machine will always be, have to put, you know, a 30 kg of clothes. So the shape will be, you know, a, a certain size. And um, the furniture will always be in a certain size because we have to you know, support a, a human body. So I think those things can't change much. Uh, but some products like digital products might change a lot more based on technology. Yeah. So technology-driven products will have a lot more changes. And those uh, products that is less technology-driven, like what, I, what, what I'm doing right now, like furniture, will... No, hopefully I think we'll be remaining the same. I think the more we are advancing on our technological stuff for, for information technology or electronic stuff, I think the more we are going back in our home furnishing or furniture. Because I think humans always have a very innate uh, need for balance. It's like when I go home, I need to feel the linen fabric of my sofa. I don't want to feel something plastic with technology that can read my body temperature and tell me whether I'm well or not. I don't think we are kind of built that way as humans. So I think a lot of people start to say, oh, smart furniture, third furniture that can tell. I think at the end of the day, those are just marketing bullshit because I think humans will just want to go home to something more primal and because we're human. I always imagine it's the same. I always think it's all in our head. I mean, form can change, color can change, the train might be faster, the plane might be faster whatsoever. But for me, those are materials. It might change, but I think human will always be the same. There will always be bad guys, good guys, people that's creative, people that's not, you know, the liberals. Or the, I think for, and for me, those are the things that's more important than what you see right now. Because what you see right now change, like the trend, or in a very layman terms, the colors may change. This year is red, next year is blue, or this decade is this color, that trend, the next decade is that trend. All these are changing. And for me, that doesn't matter because I think the human brain will always be the same. In the sense of like, I mean, in a very philosophical way, I think we'll always be able to adapt. And, and like what I just said, we are like our future, we are like our father, our father is like our grandfather and then our kid will be like us in future. So, yeah, what I'm saying is like, it will be the same because it's based on what we are thinking. The, the world might change but we will be the same. Yeah, there will, there will, there will still be Trump, uh, there will still be Obama here and there. So. There will still be people dying of some illnesses. There will still be people fighting for freedom. And there will still be people dying from hunger. And uh, it's the same. I think what we can do is to make us stronger and able to make us more adaptable. And that is the training of who we are inside. It's not giving you more weapons. It's more training the future generation more independent and um, are more dependent on their, their, their brains and themselves, uh, their, their outlook of life, you know, the, the tenacity and the, um, the courage, the, the, the bravery. I think training those to the kids are more important than building a wall, things like that. So I would really hope to see that, you know, education is more of like building a person's character rather than the chase for, 
for modernity or the fastest car or whatever. Yeah, it's more like training the kids like you don't need the fastest car kind of thing. Yeah.